what's up everybody this is Steven uh, today it's kind of a big day this is going to be the last part of this tutorial unless I quickly remember something that uh, we forgot to do but uh, right now I have it planned as the last one so let's go ahead and get started uh, as a side note for those that have changed their extension from .php to .html because you weren't able to preview it on your computer you're going to want to change it back to .php or you're not going to be able to do the final step of this. So anyhow, let's go ahead and launch right into it. Today we're going to add uh, the content for this and all it is just going to be quick lipsum text because uh, right now if I bring up the website all that we have is this and no content in here and it's a little bit boring. So let's go ahead and go to lipsum and grab a paragraph, copy that, and just come over to here, and let's just throw that into some p tags, p, close that up, and then slap that in there. Let me make this a little bit neater so it doesn't bother me all day. Um, <laughs> okay, it really bothers me, but uh, let's just leave it right now. It's really ugly, but yeah. Um, okay, so now if we save this, it's going to, we can go into the design view, and it looks really bad, really ugly. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit nicer, what we had planned in the design view. So all we have to do is come over to here, and I'm going to do it above the body. Or actually, let's do it right above this H1 tag. Alright, so all we have to do is P, which is that P tag, meaning paragraph. Come on out and close that up. And what we had was font family is Arial. I like Verdana better, but at the time I chose Arial for some reason. Font size is 14 pixels and color is black. Save that, come back to here and you can see it looks much nicer, cleaner, and it's better. And it's already brought away from the sides because the content ID has 15 pixels for padding. So it looks very nice. So now that we have that done, this is going to be the last step. We are going to separate this so if we create new pages, we don't have to copy and paste this whole thing. And then we have 20 pages done and we decide to change the navigation then we have to go through every 20 pages and change download to download to blah blah blah. It saves us quite a bit of work if we do this one last step. And what that is, is make a new document. And this one's going to be HTML. So create that. Just delete everything there. Let's uh, scale it down a bit. And I'm going to start off with this link ref. And the reason I'm going to have this in here is just in case you find out you need to make changes for Internet Explorer 6, you don't have to go through and add another style sheet link to all the 20 pages. So let's take this, cut that out, paste that into here, save this, and we're going to call it, um, we'll just call it styles, styles.html, okay? Save that. And then up here, right in its place, we're going to use a little bit of PHP. So bracket to the left with a question mark, and then PHP, and then write include once. Uh, open bracket, and then a quotation mark, and we are going to write styles.html. Close that up, and then close off the PHP with a question mark and the bracket to the right. And now if we save this, and I'm going to have to, you're going to have to upload this unless you're using CS4, which I believe, yeah. In CS4, you're able to preview these PHP tags in the design view, but before CS4, you have to upload it to your server and check it out there. So as you can see, it changed nothing because we put this here, which just pretty much slaps the code here. It just whenever we make a new page we copy and paste this and if we make a change to this it's just just to show this we'll remove that and if we go to design view it looks like a newspaper 
All right. So you get the idea of that. So now we want to. Uh, we're probably going to want to include this whole navigation bar right here. So to do that, we're just going to take this whole thing, Apple X or Control X, whatever, and then make a new HTML, create a Control A backspace, and just paste this all here. All right. We can worry about the spacing later, but uh, save this, and we're going to call it navigation.html. Save. We can close that up. And then remember where it's located. Take this whole thing, copy it, paste it, and just change this to navigation. Save that. And um, let's see. We can probably do it for the sidebar. I don't know what your website idea is going to be, but we can just do this one more time for practice. So let's just enter a couple times, paste that here. And I'm going to end up calling it uh, sidebar.html. Okay? So select this whole thing. I'm just going to select the content, not the actual sidebar div. So cut that. Apple N. New HTML. Delete that. Paste. Save it. And we called it sidebar.html. Alright, so let's clean this up a bit. Let's see. Okay, save that and we go to design view and absolutely nothing changed. All right, so uh, the point of this was so now when we make a new page, we just include this whole thing, copy and paste all of this to a new uh, PHP, and then we can change all the content. And if we end up deciding, oh, we need another navigation bar. We just come over to, uh, what is it, navigation.html and simply add another navigation bar and it will include it on every one of the pages that this include statement is on. So uh, that's it for this whole tutorial. I hope you had a fun time. You learned quite a bit. And remember that if you don't have CS4 Dreamweaver, you're going to have to upload the website to your server to preview the PHP. If you have any questions, any problems, anything just send me a message or leave it in a comment and I'll end up getting to you as soon as possible uh, the next set of tutorials is probably going to be uh, Photoshop designing but there's going to be more website coding so stay tuned and please remember to rate subscribe comment all three one of the three you choose either one makes me happy alright see you next time